Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, overnight, the markets were relatively firmer as the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, stays a modest pullback after reaching the highs seen around 101.80 and now trades around 101.50. This in terms has seen the Australian dollar regain momentum and now takes the challenge back to that top side level seen as a 60 day moving average which is around 67.75 but was respected. This level is still proving to be a little bit of a tough resistance for the bulls however the market is not backing down as of yet. Any pullback at present may find support around 67.15 and I won't rule out one more test until we see the MACD and also the RSI start breaking down further. That being said though, the RSI is relatively weak but still respects the midway point. So until we get a break here, then the market may take a further challenge to that top side. If we do clear the region and confirm from a close above 68 cents, that would give further guidance up towards 69 and a half and maybe even to 70 cents. So keep an eye on this key level, which is a 60 day moving average. Looking at the Euro, the market was a little bit mixed overnight after trading in a conservative range of 109.68 to the region of one close to 110. The market is now finding still 110 figure 10, a tough challenge. However, above there, there is still firm resistance where the key reversal or the engulfing candle is in place at 110.75. This Signal has not been negated and with the MACD still in negative territory and the RSI still somewhat weak, I still feel there is potential to the downside and that is towards the region of 109.35 and then heading on towards 108.45 and reassess from there. The reason behind that is the fact that the rebound from Friday in the dollar index from the 12 month lows around 1.0. 100.38 is that we could see the dollar index rally on to the region of somewhere around 102.50.60. So I'm not going to get bearish. And also the pattern that's coming through here could be close to a head and shoulders. We've got the shoulder here, we've got the head, and we might see a right shoulder form and then maybe see it move to the downside. So I'm not going to get bullish for the euro, but more bullish for the US dollar. And especially with uh, potentially of a 25 base point rate hike for the FOMC meeting for the Fed, that is, in May 2nd, 3rd. The dollar yen took the challenge to the top side around that 134.8090 and again was rejected and now put in a slight dent to the technical pattern, therefore could see a pullback in the short term, anywhere towards 134.05 or maybe even where the support currently holds at 133.55.65 and reassess from there. The sterling was posted two long-legged dojis, which means indecisiveness as the market struggles to take the challenge higher. And especially with the engulfing candle that's still in place, could see a slight pullback before the Bank of England's rate decision, which is still expected to see a 25 base point rate hike due to the inflation number, missing expectations of uh, 9.8 or lower, but came in at 10.1 from the previous of uh, the highs of 10.4. So the inflation in the UK is still not dropping. So therefore the Bank of England will probably no doubt may take rates towards 25 or even 50 base points in their May meeting. So looking at the technicals, the resistance seen around 124.65 and the pullback if it's indecisiveness from the two legged dojis could still see the move towards 123.70 to 123.10.15, but it's likely to trade in this tight pattern until we get towards the Bank of England's rate decision. Having rejected the bottom side for gold, that is around that region of 1,982.84, we can see that the price has recaptured the 2,000 handle. In light of the pattern, I still feel the resistance around 2011.15 may cap in the intraday term, and they, therefore I'm not ruling out another down test, and still looking towards that region of 1,982.84 and reassess. And wrapping up with oil, well, the market took another day to the downside, and this is the fourth consecutive challenge to the support level and nearly filling this gap, which I have been waiting for for some time. With the gap now looking towards 75, 70, 80, market may find potentially good demand returning due to the fact we are oversold and there's no trend to support this current slide, but just filling the gap. 
that could see a bounce from 75.70 and easily back towards that 80 region and reassess. Well, that's a wrap for the week. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intro, Paul. And I hope you enjoy the great starts in the new weekend.